guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Supergirl. So let's start talking about this episode. This is the first part of the Fortnite, uh, Fortnite crossover for DC TV. Uh, very exciting. Uh, but I will say this episode was mostly a Supergirl episode until maybe the last two minutes when we get to see Barry, which I pretty much predicted that would happen. Um, and then we'll lead into the bigger crossover in Flash kind of Arrow. I think Arrow is going to be more of an Arrow episode because of the 100th episode, but then going back to even more cro a crossoverness in Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, so let's start talking about this episode, though. Um, with this episode, it's a Thanksgiving episode, and I think Superman-related uh, TV shows always do really well with uh, holiday episodes. Lois and Clark did some awesome holiday episodes, Smallville, and now... I think Supergirl does very well done Thanksgiving episodes. Uh, so here it's the family coming back together. Eliza is in in this episode. So we get to see some interactions between Kara and her mother and of course Alex and her mother. Uh, and for Kara it's it's her figuring out her relationship with Monel, uh, if there is a relationship, as this craziness, uh, craziness from last episode that Cadmus has used uh, Supergirl's blood to to uh, release Medusa. Now, Project Medusa is actually a virus that was created by Kara's father. So once again, learning that her parents weren't exactly the people that she remembered, uh, and still always thinking about Kryptonians and not the people around them. Uh, so Kara's upset about this. Uh, she's upset that her parents were selfish, and she's seeing a real parallel with her and Lena, because Lena is also having some par parental issues here where her mom, well, she finds out that her mom is the head of Cadmus. And you think that Lena's going to go through and be like, yeah, mom, let's do this together because I need, I need your approval. But Lena, in the end, um, surprises you. She's not the true Luther that we all know. She's not Lex Luthor. And she is able to help the aliens in the end. Uh, but we don't really get to see an end conversation with Kara and Lena, or Supergirl and Lena. Um, it's kind of left on the open of what their friendship's gonna look like, or at least Supergirl and Lena. Um, Kara and Lena kind of leave it off saying, hey, I'm doing a, a fluff puff piece. <laughs> uh, but it'll be interesting to see if Lena has made the connection if they're the, the same person, which I think it's in the same position as Kat, where I believe that Kat knows that Kara is Supergirl. Lena might know, too. I think there's just a lot of obvious things, uh, especially in this episode, that say, hey, you might, you know, get some clues that Kara and Supergirl are the same person. So that's that's uh, Kara's part of the story. We also deal with uh, Martian Manhunter with his view as a view of his identity as a white Martian, but in the end actually is able to cure himself, uh, which I'm happy to see that as we get into the crossover, but him still dealing with the internal struggle of being a white Martian. Um, hopefully we get to see, though, the aftermath with him and Miss Martian, uh, exactly what his mind frame is as a white Martian, um, and just her, his relationship with Miss Martian. Uh, and then also, this is a big episode for Alex, because she comes out to her mother, which actually her mother kind of already knew it seemed like. I felt like that, that scene was so well done, but also was really quick. Um, I wanted a little bit more from it, but it was still a very well done scene. And then you also get to see more of Maggie and Alex, and they're finally, it looks like, getting together, which was nice. I'm glad it wasn't the stalling thing. A lot of shows with relationships always stall, um, but here we're really, we're really getting the relationship with Maggie and Alex, so I'm excited about that. And uh, that goes to mon -El and Supergirl's relationship, too. Uh, they're really really um, getting into it. They're trying to analyze it. Now, it's not that mon -El and Supergirl are together, but they're definitely admitting their feelings right away, and they're not teasing it for seasons and seasons, which shows are kind of known to do. Uh, so I'm glad on both Alex and Kara's front, uh, they're progressing the story in the right direction for Maggie and mon -El. Uh So very excited to see where that goes. Um, and then the end of the episode shows Barry needing help with uh, these invaders, these aliens, which it looks like it's connected to Monel. Unless those aliens are a completely different story for Supergirl, I don't know. That's what I connected is that those aliens wanting Monel are the same aliens as Barry's aliens, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but there's two people maybe looking. Uh, either there's random aliens which are the invaders or these aliens 
could be related to the invaders in some way. Kind of wish they explained that more, but I guess that's part of the mystery. So, uh, I'm gonna go to the negatives first. There's only few negatives in this episode, and I'll get into the positives. Uh, the, my slight negatives is Jimmy's story here, um, was touched upon, but then dropped throughout the whole episode. Like, honestly, I had to, like, think about when, uh, before I recorded this review, I was just like, alright, well, you know, this is an awesome episode, all the characters had moments. Wait, they didn't, because Jimmy left his, um, his story cold, because he was, re he was ready to admit that he was Guardian, but then you had the portal show up, and then Jimmy disappears in the episode. He's not even shown. So, I kind of wish they just didn't mention the Guardian thing, and that Jimmy and Wynn were just there for Thanksgiving. Uh, I understand you kind of have to remind us he's a superhero, but I thought that was a lackluster part. Uh, and then going to the end with uh, Barry and... Cisco, uh, you saw the confusion I had with the Monel aliens and the invaders. Kind of wish in Flash they described, oh, wait, these invaders are here. Because this is the first mention of the invaders in any episode. And it seems like Barry and Cisco know about these aliens. So hopefully next episode we get some sort of flashback of, hey, this is how we learned about these aliens. Um, or else it kind of just feels a little rushed and we're not getting as much information. So those are my small nitpicks of this episode. But honestly, I thought this episode was so well crafted, um, especially what Supergirl does best, these relationships. Um, I already talked about the romantic relationships, I thought that was very well done, um, but also uh, Lena and Kara and then um, Alex and her mom. I, I mean, it was just kind of nice to see Eliza in general because I love her, re her relationship and different relationship with um, both daughters, with Alex and Kara. Um, I, I thought she had great stories with both of them. Um, and then going into Lena and Kara, I thought that was one of the more, more interesting, well, most interesting stories here is still not being being able to figure out what is Lena's motives? What, what type of character is she? And I, I really like the way they're playing it here that you... Don't know if you want to trust her, but she's such an intriguing character where you see the similarities between her and Kara, but will she go to the dark side? Will she be a hero? Will she find out that Kara and Supergirl are the same person? Um, will this anger her? Kind of going back to the Smallville roots of when Lex found out about Clark, that's kind of how he went to the dark side. Is that going to be similar to Lena? I'm just very curious about her story, and I thought... She definitely has some great moments here, and once again, the new characters to this season um, are so awesome, and I hope they become uh, series regulars, because all three of them, uh, well, I guess Miss Martian too, but uh, the, the characters we're seeing even more, uh, Monel, Maggie, and Lena, um, especially Monel and, and Maggie, those are the two characters we've seen the most, uh, but Lena and Miss Martian too uh, are just such great additions to the cast and bring so many interesting relationships uh, that I just hope we get to see more of them. Um, I don't know when Supergirl lives. That's the next episode. I don't know I don't know when that premieres. That is, I'm guessing, the mid-season finale. Hopefully it's soon because there's a lot of, you know, things to explore here. So I really enjoyed the episode. Uh, I, I'm really excited, obviously, for the Flash episode and Arrow and, and everything else. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.